Hi to everyone and welcome in this new video. Today you will see the assembly of the V3 Mini. And like I will say at the end of the video, you will know when the assembly of the V3 will be available. So let's start. First, I want to let you see some pictures of the sun that I have taken using only the V3 Mini and the Coronado uh, personal te solar telescope. The V3 Mini is absolutely perfect. If you want to do something like this with very little telescope, low weight, uh, and to be very, very cheap. Uh, so I want to say also another thing, uh, in a future video, like in 10, 15 days, you will see also a wedge, very, very cheap wedge, but very beefy wedge for the V3, V3 Mini, V2, every month I have built so far. We will be using something that you can buy directly from AliExpress and we will adjust to let uh, us use as a wedge. So another thing I want to say, if you want to buy the files for the V3 Mini and the V3, you will find the link in the description. You have to choose between two types of files. The .stl if you only want to 3D print it um, and not to modify anything and the dot step if you want to modify. Like I will say at the end, I have to make, uh, I made this decision to put a higher price to the to the step files. So, but if you plan to modify and so on, you have to choose the dot step files because the dot STL, if you try to convert it to dot step is not very, very good. Okay. And you will also find uh, in the descriptions, the link to PCB way which in this period has a lot of discounts, a lot of coupons, and you can have a good coupons and good discount to buy the uh, V3 uh, mini and V3 files. Sorry, not the files, but from PCB way, you can buy the chassis and everything. Have it in metal, 3D print, everything you can imagine, you can have it with PCB way. So let's start with the assembly. So let's start with the assembly. So what you will need, is all in the list, uh, in the .zip files. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing I did of camera, because it's very boring and very easy, is to put the five screws here between the wicks and dovetail and the uh, first harmonic drives. And I did same thing for the wicks and, uh, sorry, this is the wicks and dovetail clamp and this is the wicks and dovetail. Okay. After one other thing that I did of camera, is to use the five millimeter shaft and to have the um, bearing at uh, the wave generator with the the pulleys. Sorry if I don't show you how to do it, but it's very, very easy. Yeah, I lost uh, the key to unlock it, so that's why. So let's start. For first thing, we have to take the, uh, the shaft. We will be, do we will be, doing this from the long part so this will be our array so our raw so the first thing is to have the uh, harmonic drive uh, with four, four screws inside so that you will uh, link uh, the harmonic drive together with the shaft i will let you see that i use only two screws and this is only because um in the video, it will be a lot longer to use uh, all the first screws. So let's let's begin. You will see that the harmonic drives has two type of holes. One with uh, two are threaded in diagonal, and two are not. So for the two threaded, you will use the same. So you will use the same for the threaded and the non-threaded. Uh, the only thing that for the non-threaded, you will need to use the bolt to secure it in place. But what I can say is that all, also only with two screws is everything absolutely uh, perfect. Because on the mini, you will not put a lot of weight, so it's not a problem. Perfect. So now they are tight. After, we have to take one of the assembly of the pulleys and the um, wave generator, you simply have to slide it inside, it will stop, and you will see that it can work, it work perfectly, and with no play or no problems to move at all. 
Okay. After we will okay. After we will take the first nema and the belt. We will round the belt around here, the the assembly of the um, wave generator and the pulley. And you will round also around the pulley of the uh, NEMA 17, so you will have something like this. After you take one of the black pieces, you put you slide it inside, and you have to be careful because the um, the part of the uh, of the NEMA where you have the cable needs to be oriented in this way. Okay, if not, you would have problems to close it with the enclosure. So let's take. Uh, to the screws for these. Okay, you have only two screws. You tighten it a little bit so they don't get loose, and you do the same to this other part because you now will need to tighten them. So you apply a simple pressure here to let the uh, belt be in tension with the other pulleys. And you simply have to tighten them. Okay, you tighten the first, you tighten the second. Okay, and you are ready to go. If you want to see if uh, you tighten them in the correct way, you can see that if you slide, if you rotate this, also the NEMA inside will rotate. So this is the first part. After you need the second piece, the blue pieces with the bearing inside, okay, you slide it on the shaft so it cannot move. You use the two screws, the, the chassis has all the threaded parts for the screws, okay. Okay, so the the raw assembly is done, okay? So what we will need now is to do the same thing for the deck. So we will take the deck harmonic drives, we will slide the screws in the threaded part. This is a little bit tedious, so now I showed you how to do it for the raw. What you want to do when you assemble it yourself and you don't have to let anyone other see this in video, you simply um, link the two harmonic drives first, so it's easier to add the um, the screws. Okay, so so after you have done the same thing that I showed you for Ra, also for deck, you will have something like this. So what we have to do now is to take our five stacky four. We have to see which cable is for Ra and which one is for DAC. So in our case, this is for Ra. So we insert the cable here and we do the same thing for Ra. Sorry for DAC. So you slide it, okay. And we have something like this. Like I said, if you want to see how to do the cable for the 5 stack 4 you have to go uh, to see uh, the video videos, okay? And you will have everything. Now, if you have cables that are shorter, it's easier. So one advice I can give you is to uh, have a shorter cable and you will see why. So now after we have uh, finished with the mechanical, we have only to put the 5 stack E4 inside uh, the enclosure, in this case is a transparent enclosure. What you have to see is that in this point here, you have a little bit of a dent, so you first slide the 5 stack there and after in the other corner. So now you will take a little screw, put it here in in the four corners, and you will slide 
the nuts. The nut. So after you have all so to screw the other three the other three with the nuts and bolt. But like I said in the initial part, I am I don't want this video to be 40 minutes long. So after you take the um the jack plug, the the city world plug, and what I like to do is I use this little plug from the ASIA and so to connect it in place. After because we have a lot of cables, we have to round them up. And I use this little space here to put everything. So now we take the enclosure, the transparent enclosure, and we slide it from the top. Be careful with all the cables and so on. But you will see that everything will slide in place very, very easily. Also, if you have a lot of cables. After, you will take these very teeny tiny M3 screws and you will assemble it. When you will put the other screws, your V3 Mini is complete. I know what you're thinking, but the V3 normal Yes, I will make a video, a very short one, uh, also for the V3 normal next week. What will change is only the harmonic drives. So everything you have seen here, uh, so these pieces, this other one, the NEMA, the chassis, and everything will be the same. You simply have to use a larger wave generator that you will have them with the harmonic drives. So I hope you enjoy it. If you want to buy the files and so on, they are in the video description. You can choose between uh, buying the .stl files, so to 3D print or to um, do everything you want, or to buy the .step if you want to make some modification. The price is a little bit different because um, uh, I take a risk in uh, um, sharing the dot step because anyone could like make some adjustment and publish it like they made it so i hope you enjoyed this video and we will see in the next video